when we came up with that idea that hyperphysicality might be the thing that the students might get their heads around, there hadn't been a global pandemic at that moment. How much that would mean was, uh, well, a, a bit like your Biennale when you said, how should we live together? Little did we know that that would be even more important. The digital revolution, I mean, that's 20, 30 years old, um, was pushing us more and more uh, towards something that I suppose when I started my studio, I s assumed would be less and less role for some of the things that I was interested in. And I, I now feel silly for even thinking that it would be less and less, that, the, that somehow real places would matter less. And it's had the opposite effect. The digital revolution and this pandemic has just accelerated, in a sense, what was happening already, has pushed the fact that um, you couldn't get away with lazy placemaking. You can't, and now you really, really can't, as people are, have suddenly had the same lesson at the same time across the entire planet, that you can stay at home, you can kind of work, you can kind of learn, you can kind of eat, you can kind of drink, you can kind of watch interesting things, and, and it isn't total catastrophe. In fact, in some ways, it's, it's pretty good. And so suddenly there's, a, there's something down on the table that, uh, that the physical world, if you're going to leave your home, if you're lucky enough to have a home that's okay, it's, uh, it's the, the physical world outside, the public life beyond, has got to really be aware of how it connects with your feelings and emotions because it isn't an automatic thing that you have to engage with to the extent that you did in the past.